A man well known to CNBC's viewers, Anthony Scaramucci, will return to Skybridge as co managing partner. This comes as China's HA announced it will not acquire the firm. Anthony joins us now on the phone. Anthony, great to speak with you. It's been a while. Uh, Melissa, how are you? <laughs> Welcome back to you, CNBC, Anthony. You, you look good in the judge's chair there, Melissa. I'm watching you. <laughs> uh, you know, it's a nice chair that the judges got. Uh, Anthony, let's get, let's get to what, what took the deal down. What did CFIUS say? Was there well, a path to getting the deal done? Um, I actually think there could have been a path to getting the deal done. In fairness to H&A, I mean, they responded to 15 months of questions. I would say probably tens of thousands of pages of information. And so... I think there could have been a path to get it done. We, we sort of can't really comment on the CFIUS process, but uh, one of the things that they do is something called mitigation, uh, where they allow the parties to do a merger, but then they set up certain requirements uh, between the parties, and that's very difficult in an asset management company because one of the things you want to do in asset management is integrate the products, uh, potentially get a little bit of cost savings, and then distribute uh, the collection of products more aggressively. And so I don't think we were, would have been able to have done that in mm -hmm. the structure that we did. And so H&A and the Skybridge team, we worked very hard over the weekend to craft a joint venture, uh, which is outside of the CFIUS process, something that we can uh, put in China and then use their great brand, even though they've had some difficulty in the media in the last year, we could use their great brand to grow in China, increase Skybridge's growth and so forth. But you know, the real story here, though, Melissa, is if you look at Troy Gajewski and Ray Nolte, Jason Wright, uh, Rob Phillips, Marie Noble, and the entire Skybridge team, it's not like the Academy Awards where I could mention all of them, they've done an exemplary job with the business. I'm, I'm not allowed to talk about the performance. But I would encourage people to look at how well the business has performed in the uh -huh. last year, despite all of the, uh, the, the, the media storm. Well, we, we only have access to assets under management um, here, Anthony. But, you know, back of the envelope in terms of what has been disclosed in the media, and you correct me if I'm wrong, because sometimes we in the media get it wrong. Um, the performance I didn't know that, the, Melissa. The you, I, I didn't know you guys got things wrong in the, the media. The Not numbers you, the numbers that were released November 16 to February imply a 17% decline in the assets under management for Skybridge. Um, it's not exactly apples to apples, but the Barclay Hedge Fund of Funds Index is up 6% for 2017, which would imply that Skybridge has really been shrinking at a time when the Fund of Funds Index more broadly had gained in 2017. Was part of this that H&A just became less interested in Skybridge? Well, I, I don't think that was the case. I mean, the performance is great. I mean, we've outperformed that index that you're referencing. We're also... 600 basis points over the Barclays aggregate bond in index. In terms of your main uh, in, fund? Because I'm just talking about yeah, the, the assets under management have shrunk, and it could be other yeah, reasons. No, but no, no question. But I think one of the things that we realize is that when you have a change of ownership and you have some uncertainty related to ownership and asset management, um, a knee-jerk reaction by some institutions and possibly large families is to redeem and sit on the sidelines and wait. I do think <clears> over the next 6 to 12 months we'll be able to get those assets back into the firm, and I think we're going to be growing uh, in the back half of 18 and into mm -hmm. 19. So performance has been quite good, but yes, you're correct. Assets have, have slid a little, but I really do think that's the overhang related to the uncertainty of ownership, and now that that's been cleared up, right. I do expect, based on our, our great performance, that the assets will return. Um, and one last quick qu question, Anthony, um, while we have you. Uh, why did you choose to go back? You had mentioned a long list of people who had been running the firm quite ably. Do you think that you bring something back to the firm, or do you think, given your fiery and very short um, stay at the White House, that, that maybe you detract? Yeah, I don't know. Listen, what I, what I learned over the last year is what Charles de Gaulle once said, that there's a graveyard fill of uh, indispensable men. So clearly I'm, I'm not <laughs> indispensable. Uh, but it's a very large asset for me uh, personally, and I do think that uh, the firm's got a lot of popularity. And, yes, maybe politically there's a few people that don't like me, but on the business side, Melissa, I think we're going to show people what we're capable of over the next 12 to 36 months. So you just got to gotta take it once in a while and just focus on winning. And, uh, and for Skybridge, there'll be no whining for any of us. We're just super excited to get, to get the team back sure. together and grow the business. Yeah, and I see you're doing SALT 2019 already. But, um, you know, in terms of the broader message here, Anthony, is a broader message that CFIUS does not want Chinese companies to come in and buy U.S. companies? Is that the takeaway? 
Well, I got to sort of leave that up to the CFIUS people to make that decision and, and the administration's policies. But I do think that if you're looking at what has happened over the last uh, 15, 16 months in the administration, there's been more than one Chinese firm that has stalled <clears throat> in this process. So let's see what happens. Uh, Secretary Mnuchin is going over there. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that the trade talks in combination with what is going on in North Korea will be very, very good for the two countries. And frankly, you know, we see China as a huge growth opportunity as business people, mm -hmm. and so we're very excited to get a foot on the ground uh, in China. And, uh, you know, by the way, the Fund of Funds uh, product is very popular in China, and so we're looking forward to uh, aggregating assets there with the help of H&A. All right, Anthony, thanks for phoning in. Good to speak to hey, you. Great to talk to you, Melissa. Hope Anth to see you soon. Anthony Scaramucci, again, of Skybridge Capital. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.